Good afternoon. My name is Lubini Ranasinghe, Head of Communications at Interpeace. Could you please introduce yourself to us? Good day to everyone. Aslema, this is Sarah from Tunisia. I'm uh, uh, belonging to different networks of peace building that I am representing today. Thank you. I'm very glad that you're talking to us today at the Geneva Peacecast Radio Corner brought to you by Fondation Rondel, Interpeace, Genève Vision and P Geneva Peace Building Platform. My first question to you is, why are you here today? I'm in Geneva Peace Week 2022 under the theme how we can make peace possible, peace is possible. What is your contribution to peace and how do you see that in today's very complex conflict situations around the world that people are working to make peace possible? Well, thank you for these amazing questions. So basically, I was invited by uh, Enterpeace team whom we had the pleasure to have consultation with young peace builders. And today I came as a representative of such networks to actually explore further and share inputs further. And I believe actually this answer to the other question is that I believe Peace is possible is by having different representation, by hearing everyone, by opening spaces and platforms to actually hear from everyone, people from the MANA, people from Africa, people from Asia, from all over the region of the world, because we share different pr perspectives and together we can create something. Everyone is leading peace in their own definition. Everyone is defining what is peace in their own context. So here, if we understand each other, we understand our concerns and to understand which are the common grounds, it is actually the first part of what can happen later on. And this is why I believe peace is, posi is possible when we are here together, listening to each other, and then deciding together how is the way forward. Thanks a lot, and I'm, I'm very interested. You come from far away, you come from Tunisia. Could you share with us your own experiences back at home of young people, people like you, like-minded like people, getting together and working towards that one cause of bringing peace to your country and to the region and to the world in general. So can you share with us your personal experiences from Tunisia? Uh, yes, definitely. Actually, Tunisia is very uh, dear to me because it shaped who I am today. Just 11 years ago, the revolution started and it's then it was a shift in mindset where young people took up to the street and saying this is what we want and this is how we see uh, our country is. So that's when we see that young people are actually the future and the present uh, and ho holding the power. And that's uh, something that I'm proud of because just after these few uh, days of revolution, the civil society in Tunisia has become very vibrant. Peace building initiative emerged. It has been a huge human rights movement, but also back it up with peace building initiative to complement it, to actually build post-conflict, to actually build what is Tunisia for Tunisians. So, yeah. Are you going to be with us during the next couple of days? If yes, what are you expecting out of these conversations happening in Geneva? And how do you plan to bring the solutions emerging from these conversations back to your communities and back to Tunisia and make sure that there's a bridge being built between these global conversations and the local realities? Actually, yes, I'm going to be here for a few days with you, uh, not the full week, but a few days. And uh, that's amazing because I believe it's an opportunity for informal networking, for also everyone to hear what's going on within uh, networks uh, in, in the region, such as GPAC, you know, MENA Coalition on Youth, Peace and Security, to see really what young people are doing and maybe to uh, explore uh, pathways of collaboration and pathways of seeing it. So I see the informal networking and I see also the opportunity opening up for us to open up and hear what's the what's the other are saying and for us to just exchange and that's for me very very valuable I'm very grateful to you for this conversation thank you so very much and I wish you a pleasant Geneva Peace Week Thanks thank a you lot. so much Shukran.